O God, come to aid him. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning shall be world without end. Amen. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light of the inhabitants of a country in shadow, dark has death, light has blazed forth. You have enlarged the nation you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at harvest time, as they exult when they are dividing the spoils. For a son has been born for us, a son has been given to us, and dominion has been laid on his shoulders and this is the name he has been given wonder counselor mighty god eternal father prince of peace to extend his dominion in boundless peace over the throne of david and over his kingdom to make it secure and sustain it in fair judgment and integrity. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray. Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Savior of every nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as we light the candles of this reed. May the reed and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the beginning is man and what shall be, but without end of Behold the Lord who comes and all his holy ones with him. On that day a great light will appear. Alleluia. With all my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my troubles before him. I tell him all my distress. While my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge, all I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. The Lord will come with great might, and all flesh will see him. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking the form of a And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death 
on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory, glory be to the Father and to the Son, it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will come with great might, and all flesh will see him. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. May the God who gives us peace make you completely His and keep your whole being, spirit, soul and body free from all fault at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you will do it, for He is faithful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who was Lord your steadfast love? Who was Lord your steadfast love? And grant us your salvation. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I am here to help you enter into the Advent season on this first day as we pray the Vespers today. We have just lit the Advent read and as we move in with God's grace every day of this Advent season, we are here waiting we are here expecting and we are here to experience fulfillment in our lives. Waiting, expecting and experiencing fulfillment not just in an ordinary sense but with the accompaniment of the whole church praying for each other and entering into this holy season of Advent. Perhaps the word Advent itself explains many things to us. Advent, as we have heard, is waiting, is waiting. And what are we waiting for? There are many things in life we are waiting for. First of all, simple things of our life. They say life is waiting. We are constantly waiting for somebody. We are waiting for something to happen. The mother in the house is waiting for her children to return, her husband to come back. The parents are waiting, perhaps to see their children. We are waiting to see our crops grow. 
our business improve. These are small things in life for which we are waiting. On a higher scale, perhaps we can say that we are waiting for Christmas. Perhaps in a few days now, our markets will be full of things that remind us of Christmas, the Christmas crib, the Christmas star, the beautiful songs and tunes of Christmas. We are waiting for Christmas. Perhaps we can say we are waiting for Christ to be born. More than this, we are waiting for Christ to enter into our life. And that's the most fulfilled awaiting that we can ever think of. Because we welcome the Lord in our life in a sublime way because we find everything negative, critical, dark in our life. There is darkness in many of our lives. This Corona season perhaps has reminded many of us how fragile is our existence. How anyone can contract the Corona virus. We have lost so many of our friends, so many of our relatives, so many of our priests and religious that perhaps we knew. And in this gloomy atmosphere, the light of Christ shines. We have just see, heard the first reading today, which said, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. Perhaps we are in darkness, but our waiting is not empty. Our expectation is not in vain. We will experience the light of Christ, the coming of Christ, as Christ passes by in our life. And that's the symbol of our light, the presence of Christ among us. As today I have lit one candle, the next week will be another wreath, the third week the third one, and then the fourth one. And at Christmas, when the lights are shining everywhere, and when we see the stars, not just the stars that we have made, the stars in the sky, the stars in our heart, the stars in our mind, surely a bigger light, a greater light is lit in our lives. That's the meaning of the Advent season. The Advent season means waiting. We are waiting for the Lord. The Advent season means expecting. We are expecting something unexpected, it's not mechanical, it's not robotic. Perhaps God is going to give us something more than what we are asking for. Why not? Even the end of, we are waiting that the coronavirus may end. That all of us may return back to our churches, to our families, to our markets, to our schools. That's our desire. And God will surely not disappoint us. Because ultimately, we are waiting that God may enter into our life. Because Jesus was born once alone, once only. He will not be born again and again. And we are waiting for his second coming, which is more important for us. And for that, we are waiting, we are preparing ourselves. My dear brothers and sisters, every day of this Advent season, we will be having a reflection by our priests, by our religious, to put us into that mood of waiting, this holy waiting, the holy expectations, and the holy fulfillment of all our desires. I request you to participate in these uh, reflections every evening that we will be conducting on the online YouTube and also throughout this season that we will try to bring back those memories, those joys, those experiences that make us perhaps happy. We may not be able to experience this year the carol singing that children coming to sing in our houses. Perhaps we will not be able to go and greet others physically. There are so many things that may be limited this year. 
perhaps we may not be able to have once again the festivities in our church this year never mind we will have much more than that and that is binding each other binding all of us with his love of christ so that everyone is accomplished and accompanied together in this joyful season and many of the programs the carol singing the cribs the competitions we will be trying to have in the archdiocese of bangalore in the youtube and the media that we are here so my dear brothers and sisters i wish you a very happy advent season and remember christmas is a preparation not for myself not for my own christmas but christmas is always outward oriented and there is no christmas without the poor and therefore let us prepare ourselves let us also perhaps organize ourselves to help the poor a little more because they have suffered much more in this advent in this whole year and surely in this advent season we will try to make up in some way to reach out to them i wish you a holy and blessed advent season as we approach christmas
The Son of God is coming with great power. All mankind shall see his face and be reborn. Come, Lord Jesus, to God today. You will bring us wisdom, fresh understanding, and new vision. Come, Come Lord Jesus, Jesus, to God today. You will bring us good news and power, which will transform our lives. Come, Lord Jesus, to God today. You will bring us truth, showing us the way to our Father. Come, Lord Jesus, to God today. Born of a woman, you will open in our flesh the way to eternal life and joy. Come, Lord Jesus, to God today. Let us now pray in the words our Saviour gave us. Let us pray. Grant Almighty Father that when Christ comes again we may go out to meet him bearing the harvest of good works achieved by your grace. We pray that he will receive us into the company of the saints and call us into the kingdom of heaven. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who bid heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to 